This is going to be a personal video. It's one that will be focused on updating all of you on the channel and the content that will be uploaded to it in the next few months and hopefully years. I want to get that out of the way now so that you don't sit through this with false expectations. But don't worry, I'll keep this video short despite every single part of my being wanting me to pursue the contrary. You see, the channel is at a figurative crossroads. My audience currently stands at around 156,000 subscribers. It's such a crazy number of followers that I am truly humbled by. So much so that I want to be as honest and transparent with all of you as possible. This channel first started to see growth back in mid-2017, about then at least, when I began making gaming critiques for titles such as Mass Effect Andromeda and The Witcher 3. And the reception sent me one clear message. A lot of you guys like the long critique videos. And so I continued creating these videos for the last two and a half years or so, as frequently as I possibly could justify it. But there has been and continues to be one big problem, and that is that they require an unjustifiable amount of time and labor to create when released independent of other supplemental content, a caveat that I'll explain later. You see, in early to mid-2017, I was attending Front Range Community College here in Fort Collins, Colorado, working at a Best Buy as a home theater expert, whatever the hell that means, and I was making videos for fun. I was lucky if one garnered more than a thousand views. And so, working on a two and a half hour commentary for The Last of Us wasn't work, it was a labor of love, a hobby that I could justify spending weeks and months on because I wasn't reliant on this channel for my survival. I didn't need to reach a certain revenue goal or release a new video every week. I could release one video every month or two, and if someone happened to see it, great. If not, at at least I had fun while making the video. However, now the channel is several dozens of times bigger than the size it was back then, and I currently work full time on it while finishing my last semester of college. With that shift has come a lot more pressure for more content, and it has also increased the standards. Both my audience and I expect much higher quality and quantity than back then. For instance, I put out on average roughly two to four hours of content every single month. And nowadays, I aim for the videos to reach a certain editorial and qualitative standard. Consider the upcoming critique that I want to make on Death Stranding. This video will likely end up being around two hours long, if not longer, if I am given enough time to work on it. Now to explain this, I want to go through how I would go about making this video. It may seem unnecessary or overly ornamented, but for one, I would have really appreciated it if a bigger YouTuber explained how they did this when I first started. And secondly, I think it's also important to give you perspective on just how much work goes into the content that I put out on a regular basis. Ready? Okay, I'll try to go quick. I start by playing through the game to completion twice. I take notes on and record every second of my gameplay. And this isn't your typical relaxing gameplay session. This is me playing through the game at my desk with my remarkable tablet and other note-taking devices open. It's a very proactive thing, not as fun as you might expect. Also, bear in mind that for a game like this, I will end up with as much as 80 to 90 hours of footage on my striped eight terabyte hard drives. So I will need to sort through all of that footage using the notes that I took along the way. And after I've captured all of this footage and taken all of these notes, I go back through to verify that the notes that I took align with and highlight the key moments of my gameplay footage. Then I organize all of my thoughts in an initial outline for the critique. Then I will add in gameplay examples with time codes that align with my initial thoughts using the notes that I took while playing. Then I'll go back through my notes one last time to make sure that I've addressed everything that I felt important during my playthroughs and that I've included all of that stuff into the outline itself. Next, I'll expand my outline into a full script, and when this is done, I'll send it off to an old friend of mine to look over. I'll then go through it one more time to clean up and add any sections that I feel necessary or to make any alterations that are required. 
Then I filmed the video section of the critique followed by recording the voiceover and after all of this I begin to edit the video starting by cutting all of the audio sections in reverse so that I keep the best takes. This is something that I just do myself. I find that it increases my productivity. I then go back through from the beginning, adding the corresponding footage using the aforementioned notes and timestamps. Then there are additional passes where I add in stock footage, background music, sound effects, color grading, timing adjustments, adding transitions, noting down chapter timestamps. And last of all, I go through one last time to polish everything. Once all of this is finished, I export the video and upload it to YouTube, and while it's uploading, I will work on the thumbnail, title, tags, metadata, and the description. Once I've added all of that in and saved it, the video remains unlisted while I release it early to patrons, and several days to a week of exclusive early access to the video later, I'll publish the critique for everyone to see on YouTube for free. Now, I'm sure that I don't need to ramble further about how much work goes into these videos, but based on my calculations, a critique for a game like Death Stranding is going to end up taking roughly 156 hours minimum to finish. And that's not including leisure time with the game where I'm playing at home or on my couch. That's all active work on the footage and content that will end up in the video. 156 hours, that's just under four weeks working 40 hours a week, full time, just on this one video. Not to mention all of the other videos that I have to make in the meantime as supplemental content in order to be able to pay rent. And naturally, this would push this video from taking a month of work to create to around two to three months of balancing multiple projects at once. But there is one more thing that you need to know in order for me to make my ultimate point. But for now, just remember the 156 hour number. Now the last thing I'm gonna do here is something that YouTube for whatever reason doesn't seem to like creators doing, but I'm gonna do it anyways because, well, screw them. I'm going to talk about how much money we YouTubers actually make. Buckle up, it's less than you expect. You see, with my channel, at the time of recording, I have a CPM of roughly $3, at least on paper. And this means that for every 1,000 views on a video, I can expect to earn roughly $3. Pretty simple, right? Well, nothing is this simple, and the effective CPM for my videos is actually far lower. And this is for a bunch of reasons, one of the primary ones being ad blocker. You see, gaming YouTube viewers are relatively tech savvy, and many of them have ad blockers installed on their browsers, on their computers. And this means that for every 1,000 views that a video gets, usually only four to 600 of them are actually monetizable by way of AdSense. And this is part of the reason that YouTubers in less tech savvy industries tend to make a lot more money for their videos purely because of AdSense. And this is because their viewers are highly unlikely to have ad blockers installed, or they might just watch more videos on their mobile phones than on a PC, for instance. Regardless, in effect, I can expect to earn roughly $1.35 from every 1,000 views on a video, barring any major issues with copyright strikes or flagging or anything along those lines. This means that if I released a critique video that I spent, say, 156 hours on, and let's even say that the video did really well for a critique and got 100,000 views in its first week, if we give ourselves all of that, that would equate to roughly $135 for that video for 156 hours of work. That equates 86 cents per hour before taxes. Because yes, even YouTubers have to pay income tax. That is not good. Needless to say, 86 cents is not anywhere near enough money to live off of for a month of nonstop work. You couldn't live off of 86 cents an hour, and I certainly can't. And that's why additional videos, sponsorships, and supplemental income like merchandising with little signed stickers is so important because it can help us justify the crazy amount of time needed to make these videos. This is what I meant at the beginning by these critiques being unjustifiable by themselves. Working in any industry for 86 cents an hour 
is ridiculous. And yes, even in YouTube content creation. And now you can likely see why these videos are so hard to make, not just because they're very taxing mentally, requiring a hyper analytical approach to every aspect of a game that is supposed to be fun, but also because they take so much time to make with such a crazy low return. To make these videos feasible, to make a Death Stranding critique make sense, I simply must have your support on Patreon. Now, I know that this is just one more Patreon e-begging video, but it really is important, you guys. I just got engaged to my girlfriend, Nikki. We're getting married later this year, and in May, I will be graduating and I will have all new student loan expenses due, something with which I'm sure many of you can relate. This is a time when I've got to make some very tough decisions about what I spend my time with this channel doing. If I'm going to continue making these critiques, it has to make sense. And I don't think it's crazy for me to say that it doesn't make sense to work on a project making 86 cents an hour when I could be making other videos that make a decent return on the time invested. All I ask is that if you enjoy these critiques and these crazy ambitious projects, in other words, if you want me to continue making critiques throughout 2020 and beyond, all I ask is that you consider showing me that support by pledging even a single dollar on Patreon. Seriously, if just one in five of the people watching this video pitched in a sole dollar, something that you likely wouldn't even notice in your day-to-day -day life, I could continue making these critiques for all of you, and I could even hire an assistant editor to vastly speed up production times. Not to mention that you can get all sorts of cool rewards, and if we reach the broader goals that I've put in place, I can put out more critiques on more games in much larger, more detailed, and elaborate ways. For instance, I'll be able to conduct many more surveys, collect and analyze in-game data in the way that I did during my 40-second rule of open world games video. I could interview developers, consult with programmers and game designers on their opinions of certain games' design choices, and I'd even be able to collaborate with other large YouTubers to get their input on or even debate with them over gameplay systems. All it would take is one in five of the people watching this video choosing to support the guy that creates these videos and puts them out on YouTube for free. If that happened, we'd be set and this channel could focus completely on that content. But if we can't reach that goal, I will likely have to suspend the production of these critiques indefinitely until I am financially stable and I can confidently pay my bills. It would really suck for all of us. It really would, which is why I don't even want to think about that possibility. You guys are fantastic, and I have complete faith in this community being able to pull this off. Truly, the fate of these critiques on this channel is in your hands, and I'll side with and respect whatever you, the viewers, choose to do. I will have the Patreon page linked below and also a link to my website if you prefer to give a straight donation. Thank you for watching.